Hi everybody, uh, welcome to the Cultural Center in Bird Island, Minnesota, and please join me in welcoming Don Sherman, an artist extraordinaire. He is brilliant, his work is highly, highly, highly important to where we are in our environment, our creative expression. And so Don and I came up, I came up with one word, which was anthology for the name of his exhibition. But the full title of the exhibition is anthology Anthology of Visual Arts Transitions into Papermaking. That title is so significant because when you come in to view the gallery, you will be taken on a journey throughout time and creative space. So please welcome me, help me welcome Don Sherman to the Cultural Center. Don, so good to have you. Thank you, Rosemary. <laughs> this is a real treat to be here. I think that this is a classy place. And oh. I needed a classy title for this, but normally it's better not to use big words like anthology and even visual arts and get right down to what basically we're doing here. And uh, so essentially, um, what I'm hoping you'll do if you can come here is uh, see a variety of things from a different place and different time in a variety of ways. And uh, the anthology has to do with covering a lot of ground, a lot of space and time with one's work. And at my age, I'm thinking about, you know, where do we go um, at, this, at this point? It's a lot to reflect on, a lot to appreciate that's happened in life. But what are we doing in the moment? What are we making now? And I figured that I needed to make a change into another project. My work is project-based. And the project has to do with paper making. So the pieces that are in the show are all lead-ups, but based on different projects that I've done. And there's, a, there's not many, it, I can only bring along a few of the projects that I've done, but um, give you an idea of what project-based learning in the arts is about. And um, paper making is actually um, something that I'm finding I really like to work with black people because it's so foundational. And so we're planning a workshop at the end of the month, and we're planning a gallery talk on May 9th, which is Mother's Day, and there's, there's three Mother's Day pictures in here in the show. One of my mom, one of my grandma, one of my wife. And so there is something for mothers in here on this exhibition. I hope you can come out on that day and make it a little different Mother's Day than usual. Okay. Yeah, sure. Um, just a little bit about uh, projects that I've worked on. Um, I received a grant from SMOC, our Regional Arts Council, to investigate arts and aging, arts and healing, and um, allowed me to get training to work with people in nursing homes and uh, how it is that we can care for the sick in another way besides just medically. Um, making connections with people who are dealing with stress, struggle, physically, emotionally, or whatever, is something that I think is really good to know about. And um, so I've done a series of, of uh, working with people in a nursing home and sitting down with them, finding out who they are and how they're doing, and uh, finding things to talk about that are important to them. And so it's story-based kind of work, but as I, as I was able to 
um, interact, get them to participate without being self-conscious. It's like, um, gave me a chance to do some drawings of them too. And what happened was that in the nursing home, um, each person that I worked with got to be the, the resident of the week. And um, their, the work I did hung in the entryway Aww. with their story. And uh, it, it gave them some recognition and, and it kind of perked the place up. And then the pieces went to their, their doorway as, as uh, wayfinding pieces in the nursing home. So um, you'll see some evidence of that in, 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 in the work. And that was a, that's really been a good project. I moved from one project to another, and so now I'm trying to figure out how, you know, how do we really relate to paper, and uh, what, what can we do with it, you know, so you can draw on it, paint on it, print on it, sculpt with it, and uh, foundationally, I think for anybody that really wants to do artwork, I think having an understanding of the basics, like paper making, is really, really important. I missed that when I was going through my schooling just wasn't taught. And uh, but now it's probably one of the hottest media mm -hmm. that's going around. So yeah. And if if it doesn't work, you know, to meet and greet and ask me some questions on May 9th. Um, hear a little bit more about the work and what I'm doing. Um, my studio is in Ortonville. It's called the Eco Art Studio. And it's a pretty big place. It's about as big as this room, and uh, it's set up for doing multimedia artwork, and uh, it's kind of an open studio. And your studio is open during the meander? And yep, we do the meander. Um, Mid-June, there's an arts crawl with the local artists in Ortonville, just one day on a Saturday. And the meander is in the fall, and uh, a lot of the pieces that are in this show have been in the meander. Uh, and I have an exhibit coming up in, in Glenwood in July. Um, and I'm working with some 4-H kids, starting to work this next week with 4-H kids and uh, getting out in the countryside, learning a little bit about the science of paper making and what we can do with it for expression. So anyway, that's a, another project, working with 4-H kids. And, um, but I think that's, that's the way that we do arts and social engagement, art and social practice, is that we open up our, ourselves and our work so that it's not just a spectator kind of event, it's something that we really, really do together. And so that's my pitch. <laughs> well, it's a beautiful pitch. And so do come in. Um, You'll, you can go to the website to register for the classes, but again, I tell you, this is an opportunity that you don't want to pass up. This is a gift. And um, we thank you so much for considering the Bird Island Cultural Center as your exhibition site. I have to say I'm really, really happy to be here because I think, I think for what you're doing, it's it's cutting edge for the rural communities. I think oh, it's thank uh, you. It's you know on par with with the greatest things that are happening in 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 the Midwest. And um, to, I say you're really nice to work with. Oh, <laughs> gee, shucks. <laughs> oh. You give somebody a little bit of food and then they'll say anything. <laughs>